Turkey, cheese, pico, pico de gallo, sour cream, raw jalapenos. We got pickled jalapenos too. And we're drinking very pomegranate flavored water. Uh huh. Yes, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all eat for Taco Tuesday. What's up, Yummy Vice? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Vice TV. Happy Taco Tuesday, y'all. I'm so excited for this. Like, early, I wasn't even excited. I ain't even gonna lie. But now, it's in front of me. Y'all, I love nachos. I really do. Um, we are drinking, what is this? Berry pomegranate flavored water. Uh-huh. Yes, y'all. Mm. It's all right. It's not my favorite. Hey, man. Who is ready for this mother flipping mukbang? Nachos, baby. Pico. Oh, I gotta make sure I get some of that. Mm -hmm. I haven't had nachos in a long time. I feel. <laughs> I swear I make the best nachos. These chips are um, lime chips because I put lime on them. I fried my own corn tortillas and put lime seasoning on top of them. Mmm. This is so good. Mmm. <laughs> Are y'all shocked I don't have tacos? <laughs> For the people who think my food is nasty because I put this on there, stop, please stop. I do it because I like that sauce. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. What y'all like to eat on Taco Tuesday? Oh. Mm. 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 This is delicious. I mean, it may not be nutritious, but it's delicious to eat that cheese. Oh, girl. Mm-hmm. 
I'm glad I brought this fork. Mmm. Look at her. Yeah, I saw this girl on TikTok. <clears throat> she had made some nachos. Girl, they look so good. I was like, oh no, I gotta make them. I had them, I got to make me some nachos. Mmm. How was y'all's weekend? Let me know. Mmm. Girl. I love to eat good food. I'm so blessed. Like, trust me, I know how blessed I am. <laughs> That bite? <laughs> no problem. Mm. Mm. So the dog was here all day there, y'all. Legacy, Amaya's dog. She just came and got her. Mm. Jaden gets mad every time that dog leave here. I mean, he gets very upset. Mm. And usually if Jaden wants it, we'll, you know, we pretty much get it for him. But baby, him wanting a big old freaking dog. No, we're not doing big dogs. Mm-mm. Can't do it. Mmm. And I'm not eating as early as I want to eat today, but it's still before, before 8 o'clock. Woo! Mmm. Mmm. Y'all hear my stomach? Like, I'm feeding you, girl. Jeez. I hope these white jalapenos don't do nothing crazy to me. Because, honestly, they're not even hot. Mmm. I feel like these peppers are hotter. I did my nails, y'all. I think they're cute. Y'all probably can barely see them because they're like a nude. They're like a... What is that? Clear... Ombre pink with gold glitter on the tips. 
I absolutely love them. And they're super duper short. Love that. Mmm. I forgot Murray So is off today. He been doing work, yard work all day, y'all. I know he's trying to keep himself busy. Oh my God. Uh, oh, excuse me. Girl, I had to let that one out. Mmm. Yeah, y'all. Pray for us because pray for our family, honey. Just pray. I'm filming. Leia, I'm filming. Jaden, go in your room. Just close your door. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Mm. Yeah. We had a huge argument yesterday. It was And sometimes I have to tell y'all things like this. Everything can be, you know what I'm saying, sunshine and lollipops. You know what I mean? Uh I go through life just like y'all do. Everything is not perfect. Um, so, mm. how y'all doing? <laughs> how are y'all doing? Y'all let me know. Are y'all struggling with anything? I just noticed I don't even ask y'all that. Because we just never know what somebody is going through. Um, you know. We found out on this platform that, you know, certain people are going through things in their personal lives and that we need to pray for them because people be going through some real ish. Some real ish, honey. So, you know, we might not know what it is, <laughs> but <clears throat> everybody going through some real stuff. Mmm. Mm. I know I'm not going to eat all this. Thank God. <laughs> mm. My stomach keep acting up. Yeah, I don't even... Let me see. What kind of topics I have? Let me see what I can just talk about <clears throat> off my head. Um, because y'all, I wasn't really looking for no um topics today, honestly. Um, yeah, I was in my head, honey. I had other things going on. So, oh, that producer guy who's suing Diddy, he came out with a video asking for donations, y'all, for his lawyer and just for his well-being, you know what I'm saying, his family and stuff. Um, I guess he's gearing up for a huge fight. A lawyer should be doing that case for him pro bono in my opinion 
honestly, because like it's bringing lots of attention and you know, that lawyer might as well do it for free or do it for a way cheaper price. Because you're you're getting a lot of uh, attention with this case. Mm. So basically, he was saying that um, Puffy gave him a bullcorn contract. He said it was pennies. Um. And everything else, he, you know, said that everything was just pennies. And But he said that they tried to take his publishing. And I guess that's why, uh, you know, the lawsuit is here. And then I guess, you know, he wanted to throw in some other stuff that was going on that he wanted. You know what I'm saying? Um, that he went through. Mm-hmm. And he said that's where he drew the line with them trying to take his publishing. He ain't doing it. And mm. so would y'all support his GoFundMe? I know a lot of people probably would because <clears throat> it's a lot of people on his side <clears throat> after all of these allegations and stuff. Um, I apologize to anyone. This video may him. be embarrassing too. Um, let's just jump right into it. Some of you may know me or may not. I'm a music producer who's a writer and musician. Um, different genres. I started in the gospel and jazz I know that. and R&B and worked my way over to the hip-hop side. I've been working on an album. Um, it took a year off straight working on this album. That album is the Love album. A year off. The grid by Diddy. Um, and it's Grammy nominated right now as we speak. Um, I should be um, celebrating, but the truth is I'm not. Taking this album on has requires so much time, um, you know, months and at, at, at a time, 16 hours, 24 hours a day. Um, sometimes, you know, Diddy would request certain works to be done and tell us don't go to sleep until it's done. And, and that sounds like him. be up for days trying to accomplish that. that be I up for days. to get my business straight with them on this album but the truth is they're not playing fair they, they hit me on below the belt on so many situations just 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 dealing with this it's, the contract that they give me and the offer that they gave me was just disgusting the the the, the producer fee pennies and on top of that these guys are trying to steal my publishing i can't go for that so i'm fighting back he's a fighter um but I'm, I'm, I'm going to put in this fight. I got to do it for myself, my rights, and most importantly, my Family. kids. Oh, he has Taking kids. Publishing or stealing it, it's, it's just... I know he has kids. It's, I'm not going to let that happen. Not going to let that happen. Again, this is one of those projects that, that took so much time from me. I miss holidays uh, with my family. Just out. You gotta get paid for your time too. This album. At what point? Straight up. I was running around with the, the hard drives, the computer, just to run a ball. I always tell people. <laughs> Let me tell y'all what people are saying. And I I kind of agree with it honestly. Um, he saw the contract before he signed it. So if it was pennies, why didn't you negotiate? And if he said. Uh, if Puffy said, um, no, this is what it is, you signed it. So why did you sign a deal worth pennies? You put your name on that contract. You did not have to do that. You could have tried to work with somebody else. Puffy is not the end-all, be-all. You know what I'm saying? He's not even that popular anymore as far as him being an artist. 
you know, <clears throat> um, you know what I'm saying? Like, didn't he kind of do it to himself? That part. I'm talking about the contract. I think he did. I think he did. Hey, that guy, anyway. 20, 30 years from now, looking back saying, I wish I'd done this. I'm going to do this now. Um, doing this situation is not easy. Taking Puff to court, suing him is not easy. I don't mm -hmm. have the, the, the monies that it's going to take to fight him in court. So I'm just asking, you know, if you if you in support, please, the link is in my bio to my GoFundMe. Um, the, the money we go, will go towards my attorney fees and to just make sure I'm keeping my head above water during the process. I really appreciate this. Thank you so much. I think that was a really good idea for him to do a GoFundMe. I mean, obviously, he's not rich. And obviously, he went through all of that stuff and, you know, stayed there with Puffy with all the harsh treatment and all the other things that was going on because he probably needed the job. And that's probably why he signed that contract, because he needed it over anything. He needed that money that he thought he was going to get. Puff ought to be ashamed of himself. It's too many people that done said that he done treated them wrong as far as their contracts went. Like, we seen it on TV with making the band. We seen it. Sarah tried to get them. Uh, it was Sarah, right? The light skinned one. Anyway, Sarah tried to get them a lawyer so the lawyer can go over the contract. Um, they didn't want to do that. But, uh, Sarah went, Sarah's lawyer went over her contract and she just, she let them know, you know, did, did I know this, that, and this was in there? They didn't care. You just be taking everybody money like, God, sorry, you don't feel bad for doing that? <clears throat> You know, I understand, like, a lot of artists and stuff get a bad deal. Like, new artists, they get bad deals. Like, it is what it is. That's what the industry is from what I heard. But as far as producers that are writing the songs and making and producing the songs, they should have their share. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> they should never be cut short. The artists neither, but... I heard that's the way it, the industry is, but I've never heard of producers not getting what they're supposed to get. Mm -mm. Girl. <laughs> oh, I'm full. But this looks so good. I gotta stop. I'm about to burst. I was satisfied three chips ago. Mmm. Gosh, that was good. Yummy, freaking delicious. Okay. Um. Dang. I forgot to get my guacamole. Oh, well. We'll save it for next Tuesday. Dang. Um. Okay. What happened? You know what? This is probably not even. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Yeah, that's not appropriate for the video. But. Well, I mean, we all grown. Y'all. I watched this video about what color your urine is supposed to be. Do y'all know that it's not supposed to be clear? It's wow. not. I have been told that my entire life that um, your urine is supposed to be clear. It's not, y'all. It's supposed to have a yellow tint to it or a, uh, what did they say? My life was ruined. The day Hold I up. Not Can you put her back? Yes, that's actually true. I, your urine is actually not a good indicator of health. Oh. That actually Look. means that you're drinking way too much water. You're probably drinking. 
Okay, so it says, okay, so yellowish to amber. It says typical healthy, uh, you know, urine. Um, and if it's clear, it says you've been drinking too much water and you need to cut back. Did y'all know that you could drink too much water? Yes, girl. Okay, so if you want a normal color, it's supposed to be yellow to amber. Okay, and this is what yellow to amber looks like. That right there. I just thought that would be important information for folks to know because I know a lot of people probably did not know that. I know I didn't. I thought it was supposed to be clear to be, you know, healthy or whatever. So, yeah. Um. Oh, my God. Y'all, did y'all hear about what Drake did? Drake sent, uh, what is this freaking girl's name? It says Drake flies out Rick Ross ex uh, Christina Mackey to his show after Rick Ross unfollowed him. How freaking petty is that? That is so petty. Why is Drake like that? He act like a freaking girl. Like, why would you do that? That is just, that is so silly. And I bet you Rick Ross didn't even care. I bet you anything he didn't care. Because literally, he let the girl go. Like, after six months. I didn't even know they was just together for six months. But he let her go. Like, he not looking back. He don't care. I don't know who Drake thought he was hurting. But, yeah. Um, now, I don't know why Rick Ross unfollowed him. Let's Ross see if we can find out. Christina Mackey to one of his shows. So, y'all know that Rick Ross unfollowed Drake. Drake got uh, uh, people coming at him left and right. Kendrick Lamar. Metro Bowman, Future, you know what I'm saying? So to respond... And you already know Christina was going to go. You know she was happy as hell <laughs> to be flewed out. To what Rick Ross did, Drake sent his ex, Christina Mackey, a, a, a VIP invitation VIP. to one of his shows right now. She didn't have to accept it, I know. Her and Rick Ross didn't work out. She did, right? Because that's how some joints do it. But she accepted the joint. She went to the show. Y'all already... Would y'all have accepted that um ticket, that VIP ticket? And I'm, I'm pretty sure he played for her plane and all of that. Would y'all have accepted that? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> you know how Drake going to do? He's going to try to uh, uh, make you look bad that way. But I don't believe Rick Ross is tripping on that. We see why. That's what I just said. Uh, 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 he broke up he with her or Exactly. But the boy Drake, you already know he's going to do something like this, man. I didn't know. That's going to be his play, right? I believe if Drake. Anyway. So, yeah, he's too childish for me, girl. Too childish. Okay, what is see? this? Y'all. I mean, people are not letting up on Miss Netta and Charles at all. Now, people are talking about Miss Netta being, um, what do you call it, um, filtered in pictures and stuff, y'all. This girl, woman, whatever you want to call her, she looks good. Her and Charles look good in this picture. I don't know why people are just so mad and upset about this, but listen to this lady. She sounds like a complete hater like i can't even i would be embarrassed to even have put this video out like i don't want nobody knowing how much of a hater i am you know if that's me and i maybe she didn't know that she was being a straight up hater but baby listen to this lady she sounds ridiculous this right here is the fuckery i'm talking about and let's Look. go Okay, as we can see here. Look at how good yes. Miss Nella looks, y'all. Let me move myself out the way because y'all got to see this. So this is the fuckery I be talking about. Why the fuck do y'all even play like this? So you mean to tell me y'all have made uh, Miss Nella come out on this uh, fictitious ass uh, reception look like American Next Top Mom? I'm just saying, come on now. Y'all do a whole bunch of shit with this editing and y'all gotta stop. It's okay to edit a picture. You know, if you got little ashy elbows and if we ain't catch it. If you got little blemishes on your face, you take fear of them out. But to do some shit like this, y'all found y'all wrong and y'all just fucked up. Because how? at the end of the day, it don't matter how you edit a picture, how you make it look better when a motherfucker look up and wake up and get in the middle every morning, they still look the way they be. So looking. what? Do this. 
Oh my God, people don't understand that folks know what they freaking look like. People know what they look like without makeup, without these glamorous clothes, all of that. But it's okay. If you can dress yourself up and, and um, alter the picture or whatever, who cares? Why is that so serious? Why is that so serious? Why? Let, like I said, that goes back to what I said before. Let people do what they want to freaking do with themselves. If, if she wants to edit the picture to where it don't even look like her, let her do that. I, it looks really good. It honestly does. And that's probably the body that she's trying to get. You know what I'm saying? But this picture looks so good of them. I love it. Y'all should let y'all y'all should look at these freaking uh comments. They let her ass have it. They said, you sound like a hater. I'll donate a few cents to you if you need it, love. <laughs> what? Um, yeah, people say she too invested. Like, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Like, why would somebody have a problem with uh, somebody's picture? Like, I wouldn't want to put no uh, picture out there either that looked ridiculous. Or, you know, maybe something was out of place and they had, you know, just. Mm, mm, mm. It's just so many haters out here. It don't even make sense. Oh, okay. This to y'all. Okay, so I've been seeing these videos going around on TikTok about, um, you know, I like those street guys who answer, uh, ask people questions, stop you and ask you a question or whatever. He was stopping people and asking folks, how much money did they have in their bank accounts? I'm like, like, I would never answer anything like that. But these people were answering. And this one um, couple, they were a couple, uh, he asked the guy first, how much does he have in his account? And he said $1,500, right? I believe it was $1,500. Then he asked his girlfriend, how much do you have in your account? She said 90 k 90k and her boyfriend looked at her like this and was like what you have 90k in your bank account yeah my dad um my dad you know he he gives me money or whatever you know my dad has money you know my dad is rich is what she said right and he was like i've been paying for everything you know all their dinners and all that there right um and she was like yeah i know like she just, she didn't get it. They're, I believe that they're college students. It looked like it to me. They're college students, and obviously her boyfriend uh, doesn't have a lot of money, okay? And so he's just looking at, he's so mad at her. He even walked off. I believe he came back, though. Um, he just didn't understand how she had so much money and I guess never offered to pay for any type of dinners, uh, for nothing, for them to go out, period. So basically, what it sounded like to me is that he was struggling trying to pay for stuff for them. He's struggling. He only has $1,500. You know what I'm saying? And she got all that money. She never, uh, <clears throat> she never offered to pay for anything, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, what y'all think about that? I feel, excuse me, like that's pretty selfish. It really is. Uh, you know you got that much freaking money. You don't even have to tell him how much money you have in your account. Just be like, oh, I got it. You know, sometimes if y'all are together, you know, y'all are not dating. I'm pretty sure y'all are in a committed relationship. Uh, you can pay sometimes. You can. Like, wh what y'all think about that? Because I feel like, yes, you can pay sometimes when you're in a relationship. The man ain't always got to, you know, get the dinner every single time. But, I, you know, I do feel like that. If, you, if you're if uh, you just dating or whatever, dating around, you know, yeah, you're going to pay for this meal, you know. But once you get into a relationship and been together for a long time or whatever, you know, you can you can get some of those meals. You can get some of the excursions or whatever y'all do in y'all relationship. Yeah. How y'all feel about that? I feel like a woman can do that. She can. Now, as far as being made to, no. But she can definitely offer. She can offer that service. Okay. Um. 
What is if this? you take the C Oh. That was for for me. <laughs> um Hold on. What is this? Any motion of This, this is heartbreaking. Um, when I tell you y'all, these kids these days are something different. They are something different. I don't know what they've gone through or like what the deal is. What is up? This young lady, she's 13 years old. When you look at her though, she looks like she's about 16. But she's 13. And this is in uh, Pennsylvania, y'all. A 13 year old, uh, Latia Powell unalived her mom over taking her cell phone. Her mom took her cell phone. So she unalived her and then tried to unalive her brother, her 11-year-old brother, y'all. And they asked her, did she have anything to say for herself um, as to, you know, what she did? Listen. Don't regret, guilt, and self-disgust. She sounds like a child. She says she feels regret, guilt, and self-disgust. And they're charging her as an adult, y'all. She's only 13. 13. I totally disagree with them charging her as an adult. She obviously needs to go and get help. Like, she's a child. I feel like she's a child. She shouldn't be charged as an adult. But they are charging her as an adult. Um, they said the uh, police said they found the mother with multiple stab wounds to her neck, her back, and heavy blood flow coming from her head. When they arrived on the scene, she was later pronounced um, unalived. Um, she says the 11 year old boy on the scene with apparent stab wounds to his back also, what? Is expected to recover. So he's still alive, thank God. And they said um, in a statement released on Saturday, investigators said they noted that kitchen drawers and cabinets were uh, padlocked in the home. Y'all, these phones, let me tell you something. Phones are serious to kids. Just like they're serious to us. Y'all, I literally have a brand new phone that I bought months ago. It's, it's probably been a year now that I haven't even switched over to because of how long I'm going to have to be without my phone, y'all. <laughs> So I'm thinking if I am that attached to my phone, I know kids got to be attached to their phone. Um, what do y'all think about taking phones away from kids? Um, that is, in my opinion, the ultimate punishment. Like, that's the ultimate punishment because everybody does everything on their phone. Everybody. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? Um, and to get your phone taken away, what you gonna do then? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Watch TV? Um, you know, and I know, I already know a punishment is for a reason. Like, you're supposed to be without stuff, but I don't know. And I can't believe I'm even saying this, but I just, I don't think that taking the phone is a good idea but obviously her mother thought that it was a good idea and she probably had done it before you know taking her phone um but i just really want to know what went through that little girl's head to do that like why would you do that to your mama and she said that she deserves to go to jail for what she did she said that out of her own mouth i'm just like wow like stuff is getting serious y'all like Whew. Now parents got to be scared of their flipping kids. You know, and her mama was just, uh, how, her mama was either 42 or 44, one of them. Young mother, young. Like, can you, I can't even imagine my 13-year-old doing something like that to me. Like, she must have been bigger than her mama or something. I do not know, because... 
or maybe it happened when her mom was asleep. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to figure out how the mom couldn't overpower her and, you know, pick something up, something. I don't know. That's, I don't know how it happened, but I just, wow. She, the young lady is tall. She looks, because she doesn't look 13, y'all, at all. Let me show y'all. Any emotion at all? Regret, guilt, and self-disgust. Don't she sound like a child? Look at how tall she is. That was the response 13-year-old Latea Powell had after being taken into custody after stabbing a 44-year-old woman to death on Friday. Around noon, officers were called to 23 South Sherman Street in Wilkesbury for the report of an unresponsive 44-year-old female. When they arrived, they found the female with multiple stab wounds to the back and to the chest. She was later pronounced dead by the Luzerne County Coroner. Another boy child, 11 years old, was also stabbed and rushed to Geisinger Wyoming Valley Medical Center. His injuries were non-life-threatening. According to the affidavit, Powell, before being arraigned, asked, Is she alive? Is she gone? Did I really kill my mom? According she to can't police, even believe the 13-year-old also said, I'm the reason my mom's dead. I deserve to be in jail. In the affidavit, Powell is said to have told officers she threw the knife on the doorstep of a neighboring house. Do y'all think that she deserves to be charged as an adult, though? I don't know. That's the only thing that I disagree with. I feel like she should be in the juvenile detention center. Not How do y'all consciously put a 13-year-old in there with grown women? I just, I don't know. I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. Of course, she should be in jail. We all know that. But charging her as an adult, I just, mm -hmm. I don't agree. What is this? Do we hear what? Hear what I'll be sure said. <gasps> I'll be sure. Oh my God, y'all. So this is some tea. I'll be sure. What? Where was he at? Hold on. Finally, it's from. We're this. going to be producing the I'll be sure life story. Y'all heard that? So, with this, uh, I believe it's like a documentary that he's going to be putting out um, about his uh, life story, which we definitely need one because I'll be sure is a freaking icon, is he not? Um, and he's going to let us know how he got in that coma because I definitely want to know. And then he, you heard him say, you may have to call Homeland Security. Girl. Oh, and he probably feels like he can speak now. But what's funny to me is the, his son. You know that Puffy had a hand in raising his son. And I just, I don't know. I want to know about that. Like, what? how did that happen? We know, well, maybe her son, no, because that, hold up. Okay, I know why. Because... Kim, Kim Porter is, uh, uh, they have a son together. Him, I'll be sure, and Kim Porter have a son together, okay? So, I'm guessing that his son lived with Kim Porter. Puffy was her man, and so that's why he had such a hand in raising him. But, Puffy adopted him, from what I know. Puffy adopted him, so how did I'll be sure let another man adopt his child? You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I don't know. I just be wondering, did he have anything to do with him? Um, because they look like twins. Okay. Did they have anything? I mean, did he have anything to do with his son? You know, when Kim was alive? Uh, because I just, why would Puffy adopt him? I don't know. That just doesn't make any sense to me. Um... And then I was thinking, well, I wonder if Puffy said that um, he, his daddy couldn't come around, that he was going to be the daddy. Because I don't know, for some reason, I could just hear him saying that, like, I'm going to adopt him. 
F that N word. You know what I'm saying? He with us, I'm going to just adopt him because he didn't want his, his dad being anywhere in the picture. Anyway, that's just what I'm thinking. That's what I assume. But I can't wait. I hope he, you know, tells us about his son and how all of that transpired and all of that. Like, I just, I don't know. I really want to know. I can't wait till the coming, honey, because I'm going to be the first one to watch it. Um, dang. In a coma. Like, I'll never forget that. Mm. Uh, okay. What else, y'all? What else? I always tell people, if somebody does something once to you, do oh. something. EMS workers rushed into the 125th. Oh, this is what I want to talk to y'all about, y'all. I have been getting so many videos come over my For You page about people being pushed onto the train um, tracks uh, in New York. Have y'all been hearing about that? It, like, I've already seen, like, three videos, recent ones, where people have been pushed. This one um, guy pu pushed his girlfriend onto the uh, tracks. She just lost her uh, either feet or her legs, one of them. Um, and then somebody else, unprovoked, the man didn't even know this guy, um, just pushed him onto the tracks, and he passed away. And then it was somebody else. Um, that, that passed away. Y'all, I really feel like this has happened so many times in New York. Why haven't they done anything about it? Beefing up security is not going to do anything. It takes a second to push somebody in the, in the way of a, uh, of a train. You know what I'm saying? I seen this one lady, she made a video. She was like, this is how I stay safe. She literally had this chain with a lock on it, y'all. And she says when she's waiting for the train, she'll uh, uh, put this tra this chain thing around her and attach herself to this um, pole or whatever. And then when the uh, the train comes, then she unlocks it and then she gets on the train. That's probably the smartest thing to do because, like, what? I I couldn't imagine, y'all. Like, I literally could not imagine. Standing like I would be nowhere near the tracks. They would literally have to drag me. Like, uh-uh. Girl, I'd be standing by the door. And if it, it get too packed and I can't get on, oh, well. Like, girl, I'd probably just get me a car or something. Because I, mm -mm. y'all ain't going to make me lose my life. Are you crazy? I think that is crazy. I feel like they need to put up, like, um, barricades. You know what I'm saying? From the floor to the freaking ceiling. Barricades where, you know, nobody can even go to the edge like that. Like you have to, um, when the train comes, there's um, doors that unlock from the barricade. And then that's how you get on the train. Like, you know, like they need to, they need to do something. Something needs to be done. Something needs to be changed because that that can't keep happening. That cannot keep happening. Any um. Yeah, y'all. Um. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What else? Um. Oh. Don't this is why I want to you know listen Every to water this. Cap listen. Has a different meaning. Black listen. is alkaline water. Blue is from spring. White is for process. And green is usually flavored spring water. Stop buying water until you know the secret. Every watercolor cap has a different meaning. Black is alkaline water. Blue is from spring. White is for process. And green is usually flavored spring water. We drink water with the white cap, y'all. Processed freaking water. And it says spring water on there. Did y'all know anything about this? About the caps, cap colors? Uh, meaning something different. I did not find that out until freaking, what was it, yesterday or today? One of them. Do then bread. bread. Until you know the secret. The color twist ties tell you what day the bread was made. Blue is on Monday. Green is on Tuesday. White is usually on Friday. And yellow is usually on Saturday. Do not buy bread. Until did y'all you know, know the that? Secret. The color twist ties. Y'all had no freaking clue. No clue. Um, R. Kelly got attacked. In prison, y'all. Oh my God. Does anybody care? Like, 
he got attacked, y'all. And um, people are wondering how that even happened. Uh, the guy who attacked him had an ink pen. Hold let me, let me. 57-year-old R. Kelly was attacked in his jail cell by a man who claimed the government told him to do it. According to the reports, the attorney for R. Kelly said, I seen the video and not one person raised a finger to help him while he was being attacked by that inmate. And how was he able to get to that part of the prison where R. Kelly was without being seen by a correctional officer? Apparently, he's in a part of a prison, I guess, for celebrities. I do not know. But um, apparently somebody was supposed to see him when he went his behind back there. But y'all already know politics in prison is totally different from outside. Those guards will let those prisoners do what they want to do if they're paid off, if anything. Like, yeah, if those guards owe them a favor or what, who knows? Like I said, like, they be politicking in prison. And, uh, yeah, of course he got, uh, through where the guards were supposed to see him. Of course, because the guards let, let him do it. You know? I believe this was a setup. Of course it was. The inmate who attacked R. Kelly said, Look at how crazy he The government look. told me to do it. That's why I did it. And I'm tired of people gathering in front of the prison, protesting the freedest man. Every time they do that, they put us all on lockdown. And I'm tired of it. So I Why do they have to get put on lockdown because people are protesting outside? They're on the inside. So what difference does it make? I don't know. That's weird. Snuck in his cell while he was asleep. And I started punching him in his head and his stomach. And when he fell on the floor, I started stomping on his head. And I would have stabbed him with the ink pen that I bought with me. But I ain't have enough time. He I got hit with the time. pepper spray and was told to get out of his cell. The district. Oh my God, that is dangerous. Cause he might get him one day. He literally might get him. Wow. And then that man was in prison for uh, stomping somebody to unalive. Yeah, that's what he was in prison for. Like what? I guess he ain't got nothing to lose. Oh, that is so dangerous, being in prison with people that ain't got nothing to lose. Girl, your life can be taken at any time. Any time. Like, if I was R. Kelly, I would ask, can I go to, um, what do you call it, solitude or solitary confinement? Solitary confinement. And just be in there for the rest of however much time he got. That's what I would do. I wouldn't want to be around no freaking body. Nobody. That is crazy. Um, what is Happy this? East. Okay, Nye and Unk, y'all. She made an update video about um Unk, y'all. She hasn't even been filming Unk. I guess she hasn't seen him. And she said pretty soon the hotel room that he has, he's going to have to leave there. Um, GoFundMe has not released those funds. I'm like, What? And I don't know why I'm di I'm not. She, oh, she said that GoFundMe said that there was some type of uh, allegedly. Uh, I think she said illegal activity or something. Let me let me just play what she said. And TikTok fam, I'm sure a lot of you guys been wondering why you haven't seen me post Uncle a lot. Well, in reality, I've still been traveling and handling my school stuff. I'm not with him every single day like you guys would like me to see. But along with that, nope, they still have not released the money yet. Due to this, he may not be able to be in the hotel room anymore because I can't afford it to continue to put him in there. I mean, just for the month he stayed, this is how much it cost right here. And I go back home in three weeks and like no progress has been made because of this. And it's very, very frustrating mm -hmm. because, you know, that's why you guys haven't been seeing me post a lot because the way I envision this happening, by now he would be in his own place. By now he'd be getting the medical care right. he needs. And I could go home peacefully knowing that he's good. Right. But I can't even go home peacefully because of this. And due to that, y'all, um, I'm actually about to in a lawsuit would go for me. I know a lot of you guys encouraged me to go ahead and move forward with it. At first, I yeah. didn't want to. 
but I feel as though they need to be held accountable. And yeah. how many other people are they doing this to? Now, she was saying before that um, uh, Unk need to get his license. How long do it take to get a license? You know what I'm saying? That he needed to get some type of an ID to show GoFundMe. And I'm wondering, is that what it is? Did he get the license already? Because she didn't ask, I mean, she didn't tell us that at all. Um, but if you could just see where she's coming from, though, you know, she's young. Um, she has a life. You know what I'm saying? She's in school. She doesn't even live out there. She only goes to college out there, y'all. So once she and she's graduating so when she leave college i don't think that she's gonna be flying back out there for unk you know what i'm saying i'm pretty sure that's why she's trying to get everything squared away um i don't even know that's a whole lot of money that needs to be given or it needs to be released. I was thinking about maybe she could start another one. Not a GoFundMe though, but uh, does anybody else have um like money donation? Is there any other companies that do that besides GoFundMe? Like somebody else should have been open one. GoFundMe cannot be the only friggin' um you know what I'm saying business that does stuff like that. Um anyway. There is an opening. So if somebody <laughs> wants to start one, they, you know what I'm saying? Um, anyway, so, yeah, it's just weird to me why they won't release the funds. But listen. I mean, just the stress, them basically messing with my brand and everything, and also basically accusing me of potential fraud or legal activity. It just became too much to bear for one person. That's why y'all see me deactivate my page. It got very discouraging seeing my followers go down and having so many people. Because it's so unfortunate. She got all of those followers and all of those views because of Unk and the, um, and her, uh, you know, being so, uh, what do you call it? I, I'm trying to think of the word, y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And what she did for for Unk, that's why she got all those followers and views and stuff. And and when she don't be posting him, with you know people are not watching as much. I'm sorry, y'all, because they don't want to see. Unfortunately, they don't want to see what she got going on. They're interested in when, you know, she is or what she's doing with Unk, making sure Unk is okay. Because everybody is just making sure or, you know people want to know that he's okay and that um you know for the people who did donate that their money is is going to good use so they're waiting for her to be like yes gofundme release the money but gofundme's not releasing the money and you know like she said she has her own life like she's not always with him um but that's the update y'all you know hold on ask me every single day what's going on what's this and that and there's nothing i can do because of go find me and i'm all about being transparent so this is me being transparent with you guys i'm not gonna lie y'all i'm not good right now it's this whole situation i've been very hard on myself and i just don't know how to move forward i don't know what to do i mean obviously you guys are probably not gonna get as much on um, content anymore because I'll be moving back home. I'll be graduating from school. And it's also a more so me trying to figure out what I want to do with my own life and how I want to move yeah. forward with my own content. Because right. ultimately, I want to keep the content going. But I ain't going to lie, y'all. I've been very discouraged. Because mm -hmm. I mean, folks ain't been watching. I just don't know what to do anymore. I don't know. And people are... Yeah. People are um, saying that she's a scammer and all of this stuff here. And I just, I just don't feel like she even has that in her heart. You know what I'm saying? I really just don't. She seems like a really, really great person that comes from a, a great family, you know? And I just don't feel like she's that way. And I just, how dare people even accuse her of scamming? You know, she's been telling us that she's having problems with, uh, GoFundMe. She been telling us that. I was just saying, God definitely put me on his strongest soldier list this year. I don't know how much more I could take, but I'm just trying to be patient and be strong and 
just wait. I just, I'm a firm believer everything happens for a reason. So there's a reason why God interfered with my plans and that it didn't go the way that I was expecting it for it to go. It's been three months now. Two, three, three months, months, I'm over it. It's just, it's too much. But yeah, I love you guys. Um, I want to say thank you for the ones that are still being patient. Thank you for the ones that are still following, still checking up on me. And, you know, I feel like the ones that will follow me are the ones that leave negative comments. You guys were real supporters from the jump. And right. that's cool. Um, but I'm really seeing my real supporters. And mm-hmm. I'm going to keep, keep doing it for y'all. And, yeah. And can I just ask y'all, can y'all say a prayer for me, please? That's all. Yes. Just say a prayer for Pray me. For because her. I ain't gonna lie. Your niece, your cousin, I've been, been having a very hard time with this whole situation. I might have to put myself back in therapy, honestly. What? Like, the stuff that I don't even post, the stuff that I don't even show y'all, y'all be like, damn. Damn. All she tried to do was help somebody. <laughs> Dang. I wonder what it there. is. People can be so cruel. I bet you it's people. I bet you that's what it is. <clears throat> mm. Anyway, y'all. Uh, let me... Let me see if there's any comments, y'all, in this last video. Didn't I already... Um, didn't I already read these comments? I could have swore I did. Did I? Y'all, why I can't remember... Let me see if... Did I read these already? Um, (laughs) No, I didn't read these. Okay. I'm... Okay. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um... Let's see, girly girl, ninety five sends uh, five red hearts. Thank you so much. Um, let me see, Wanda Richardson three eight three zero says, "Ain't nobody worried about Diddy, but simple minded people." Oh, you got to be simple minded to talk about something that's going on on the internet. Okay, <laughs> rich people's problems. Hey, what well, they're telling us about it, so I'm talking about it. Okay. Uh, Riri Love 1962 says, hey, yummy child. Hey, girl. So about Snoop um, (laughs) D-O-double-G getting his daughter, Corey, a um, Toyota Corolla. That was a more sensible but cool deal for her being so young. And yes, it keeps her grounded. Plus she got, I'm sorry, plus she got what she wanted. And was completely happy with it. That was like over three years ago. Uh, Corollas are one of the most popular cars for younger generations. I had one at 23 years old, black with rims and tint. Thieves broke into it and tried stealing it a few times, but it's a great car. I know, everybody knows that Toyotas, uh, Hondas, Lexus, all of those are really, really good cars. Very dependable cars. Like I said, I would have been happy with it, girl. Um... Please tell Murder Show Corolla is better than a Camry as far as style. I'm sure Corey has one or two other nice investments stashed away. Also, happy she's recovering from her multiple strokes. Exactly. And walking again. She's 24 years old, battling lupus. Such a strong young lady. She is. You are so right about that. Um, And it's, it's so great that she was content with it. But the internet... But the internet, golly, the internet always got to put salt in your happiness. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, it's so unfortunate. Etroy 2045 says, uh, yeah, I'm not a braids person. My hair is too fine. Exactly. Mine too. Mine too. That's why my, my hair can't, can't do braids at all. My hair, even when I had them braids before y'all, it thinned out like the sides of my hair. I mean, it grew back. Thank God. Um, but it did. It thinned out the sides of my hair. Y'all already know when I was trying to take them out, I cut like eight chunks out of my hair. I can't even believe I have hair, honestly. Uh, Etroy uh, also says, Snoop got her what she wanted. You look pretty today. Thank you, girl. I'm not a catfish fan, but the crunch is epic. Yeah, finally, huh, girl? Oh, my gosh. 
Let me know. What kind of fish do you like? If you don't like catfish, what, what do you like? Um, user LW4WI1FJ2F says, hey, beautiful. You look great. Thank you. I have a two-year-old grandson. When he is doing too much, I get my phone and say, eat, eat, and he will run and sit right next to me. Oh, uh, the funny thing is, um, is when you take a bite, he opens his mouth like he's eating with you. Then he says, yummy. Oh my, are you serious? That is so sweet. Oh, tell him I said, tell him I said, hey, oh, that's so sweet. I love that. Um, Delicious dinner is 5713 since a red heart. Thank you, sweetie. Um, Pamela Moore 7139 says, Happy Easter, yummy to you and your family. Thank you so much. Happy Easter to you too. Uh, Street Life underscore MP72 says, LOL, you make it sound so good because it was. Okay. That was one of the best meals, y'all, that I ever cooked. I promise you. It really just was. Uh, Ramo Blast says, happy Easter. Thank you so much. Happy Easter to you, too. Uh, Kim Tyler, 3400, says, happy Easter. Thank you so much. Um, Nikki Clark, 9581, says, uh, talk, talk to her right on up. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? I'm sorry. Uh, Deborah Cooper, 4184, says, I eat small meals three times a day. No junk food or sodas. Lots of water and went to the doctor doing fine. Didn't take uh, long at all. The weight just started coming down. What? You eat three small meals a day, no junk food. I don't be eating no junk food either. Um. So I'm guessing you still eat carbs and sugar? Do you? Dang, girl, I need to know. That is amazing. Like, that's amazing. Oh, so you eat three times a day and then you stop eating at 5.30? Girl, oh my God, I don't think I could eat that many times before 5.30. That's a lot. To me, it is. For my stomach. Um... I could probably eat like two times, but not three. I don't think I could squeeze three times into that. It depends on what time you start eating, honestly. Um, Rihanna Mimi says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl. So I feel like HBCU is not segregation. It is because there's segregation in white schools. Exactly. We are not the problem. Thank you. These young people these days, because that's, that's who was talking, y'all. Young folks, they don't know nothing about what happened in the past. Like, nothing at all. We're literally not even the problem at all. We've been set up this way. That Systemically, we have been set up for, y'all, for the rest of our lives. Honestly. When is it going to change? How is it going to change? I don't know. I really don't know. But um, she says there's segregation in white schools. We are not the problem. It's so much highlighted because no one likes us everywhere. Exactly. I don't think or like it because we are still seeing the impact of our hair in school and the workplace. They couldn't possibly understand it. Everyone have a great productive day. Exactly. You're so right. They could not. They couldn't understand it. They really couldn't. People are still hating on us for wearing uh, our own hair. I, literally. Um, Patricia6041 says, Happy Easter. Thank you, sis. Happy Easter to you, too. Um, let's see. Zen, Zen, Zen Zone Zeal569 says, Get ready, yummy. What, girl? My identical autistic boy twin. What? Didn't talk for the first five years. Now they won't shut up. LOL. Now they're 17. Oh my God. I know you was happy, girl. I know you was happy. Wow. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't freaking wait. 
y'all like y'all will hear about it if i'm still you know saying doing this y'all will definitely hear about it deborah cooper 4184 says hey yummy hey girl happy easter food was delicious thank you sis and i actually did that dinner for y'all i was like oh i gotta do something special for you know easter uh y'all didn't tell me what y'all was eating kendra 8449 says hey beautiful yummy hey girl that plate looks delicious Happy Easter to you. I'm sorry, uh, Yummy, you gonna have to fight me. Why? Because my plate way better. <laughs> Is it? She said. Um, but I made spiral ham, Cornish hen, cabbage, cornbread. Oh, my mouth water, girl. Corn on the cob and homemade mac and cheese with a homemade pecan pie. For dessert, I hope you enjoy your Easter and everyone watching. I hope you enjoy your Easter, girl, because that plate, girl. You eating the girls up with that, for real. Ooh, delicious. I know that was good. Mm. Uh, the real netizens fire emojis. Thank you, girl. Um, I wonder if you're a guy. Oh, my God. I don't even know. Thank you, though. I appreciate you. Um, XNTS Garcia says, food is delicious as always. Thank you, girl. I'm having Brazil's favorite dish, um, feijota. Girl, I know I probably messed that up. I'm so sorry. Uh, or Fijoda or Fijoda, one of them. Black beans and pork stew with a side of far, farofa, vinaigrette, and kale. Girl, I don't even know what that is, but I know that's good. Um, CJ Dawkins 9907 says, off topic, but where did you get your waist trainer that you wear sometimes? Um, I got it from, uh, Kick Weight with Keisha, the one that I told y'all inspired me to, uh, do keto, her website. She sells absolutely everything, okay? Everything, anything, waist shaper. I think she, um, even has, like, uh, um, like the body shapers and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this is, I have it on right now. It's a good one. Like, you got, like, the, the boning in it. Like, it's good, honey. Um, let's see. Can you put Bailey in the garage, please? Or somewhere? Okay. Uh, self-love to me, her four seven eight four says the fish, the fish looks so good in that mac and cheese. Like, yes, honey. Yes, girl. Thank you. Um, Cassandra Paziani, Paziani 1402 says my dog saved my dad's life. About 15 years ago, I have two children, and I'd say my dog holds an equal place in my heart for saving my dad. I know that's right. It's a lot of people that feel that way. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Sonya77353 says, hey, yummy, hey, girl, happy Easter. Happy Easter to you, too. Kathy Yarbrough9443 says, my great-grandmother always wore braids. It's in our Indian culture. Exactly, it is. It's in the Indian culture. It's in the African culture. Yeah, I looked it up. I was like, let me just look this up and see where did uh, braids originate, right? And I'm, I'm going to read it to y'all. Braids originated, let's see. Um, in N Namibia, I believe that's what, what this says, Namibia, Africa. That's where, um, that is where, let me see. What did I do with it? Where do, bra yeah, here you go, right here. Hair braiding has roots in ancient Africa, okay? Many experts believe cornrows are the oldest braiding style, and it, it came, originally it came from Africa. There's so many people out there saying that it came from the Vikings and all of this stuff here. No, it came from Africa. That's where it originated. Now, uh, you know, it's a lot of other people and cultures uh, that wore braids, but it didn't originate with them, okay? So, there it is. A lot of other people wore braids, a whole lot. Um, and I can actually read them off. <laughs> but yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, I don't want to read them off. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, you're right. Indians definitely wore braids. I mean, we know that, <laughs> honestly. Kathy Yarbrough 9443 says, we've been wearing braids for years. People need to quit. <laughs> Uh, but Indians, Indians are, um, oh my God. Um, what is the freaking word? <sighs> Indigenous. Y'all are not white. The, you know, so this, they're, this, okay. I don't agree. Okay. But, uh, people are saying basically, um, that it, braids, didn't originate with black people. And it's just not true. It's just not true. You know what I'm saying? So, um, they originated in Africa. And, and, uh, uh, and that's, that's all I'm going to say. How about that? That's all I'm going to say. Uh, Kathy Yarbrough says, um, yes, ma'am. I love, love, love my dogs and cats. Girl, you got dogs and cats. Wow. And what, what, what type of Indian are you? Let me know. What kind of Indian are you? Um, Joanna Aguilar, 4961, says, Is this your first time taking care of the neighbor's dog? Uh, yeah. Yep, and it's not the neighbor's dog. It's uh, my daughter's dog, Amaya. Um, last time a dog was over here, because the dog has never just stayed over here. The dog would just come with Amaya sometimes. But um, the dog, uh, last time the dog came, y'all, the dog wasn't it wasn't that big at all. Like the dog was small, small, like th about about like about that big, I think, or maybe that big, yeah. But anyway, like she is huge, honey. She is huge, but she's a sweet girl though. She really is. You know, I, I am a little scared of her, honestly, because I feel like. Um, just like when all those accidents happen, people be saying, she was a family dog and, you know, she never this and never that. But she unalived your two kids. You know what I'm saying? They can just snap at any time. Any dog. Excuse me, any dog can, you know? It's just unfortunate when they do. <clears throat> Or if they do. Kathy also says, uh, you look so good in pink. Thank you, girl. That food looks and sounds awesome. Girl, it was. Thank you. Um, Natasha J's World Overcomers says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl. The food looks so good. And I had some fried sway yesterday. You look pretty. And I don't blame you for not letting a big dog stay in your house. Especially a pit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna be able to do it. That those them dogs scary. It, they are scary. You know what I'm saying? Like I know, and I'm not even gonna say I know. Maya's dog is is really sweet, but you just never know what might happen. You you never know. She doesn't seem like she would you know be an aggressive type of dog. Sometimes you know those type of dogs when you see them or spend time with them, and she does not like that. She really isn't. Um, B. Bogarty says, good evening, beautiful queen. Homemade catfish and mac and cheese and cabbage. And that sauce and drink looks so delicious. And you look so beautiful as always. Love pink. Love the pink outfit and your beautiful smile and hair. Thank you, girl. Happy Easter to you and your beautiful family. Happy Easter to you, too. Thanks, sis, for the awesome video. Love you, sis. I can't eat no seafood or fish because I'm allergic to seafood. What? No, enjoy sis because everything looks so delicious. Thanks sis, love you. Love you too. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Um, Stephanie Trimiar 9565 says, all right now, that's a meal. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Riri Love 1962 says, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure your notifications are on and set to all. Share if you care. Leave a comment, topic, or suggestion down below. Yummy Bites would love to hear what you got to say. Thanks and have a great day. Thank you, girl. Y'all do what she said now. Uh, Rose Miles 865 says, Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you too. Hope you have a wonderful day and the food looks yummy, delicious. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Uh, LaShawn 1901 says, Yummy Bites Resurrection Day. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Uh, Lily Portis 7100 says, Yes, yummy. That looks delicious. Happy Easter, everyone, girl. Okay. It was so good, y'all. Mmm. Um, Courtney Marie's mom says, hey there, beautiful. Your fish 
was fried to perfection. Thank you, girl. I made baka pasta and added shrimp and scallops. <laughs> Yummy scallops. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to cook with those one day. I've never cooked with scallops. I'm gonna have to because scallops are delicious. Oh child, it's good. I know <laughs> I know it is, girl. Um, Lisa Jenkins8744 says, Happy Easter. Thank you. Happy Easter to you too. Mila Leggett 9890 says happy Easter. Happy Easter to you too. Nevermore316 says, when it comes to discipline, I'm more of a yeller than a hitter. But sometimes you got to smack that ass. <laughs> I know that's right, girl. I know that's right. I do. I yell a lot. A lot, honey. Yeah. I wish I didn't have to, but. Um, you know, I don't yell as much anymore, honestly. Um, but I do still yell. Let's keep it all the way funky. <laughs> Nevermore 316 says, when the food's good, lots of love to you. Yes, girl. Official underscore D spot. Uh, manifesting. Yes, girl. Thank you for the word. I was thinking and could that could not. It just didn't come to my head. Thank you. Manifesting. Michael Stewart 198 says, you look amazing food. Wait, you, wait, no, I'm sorry. He said, the food looks amazing. And happy Easter, Yummy. Thank you so much. Happy Easter to you too. Well, all right, y'all. That's the end of the comments. Thank y'all so much for being here, okay? And interacting with the video. Um, hope everybody had an amazing weekend. Hope y'all had good food, hung out with family, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hey, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Instagram and TikTok, okay? And follow me on the Family Vlog channel. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. For everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey, uh-uh-uh-uh. Hey, 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 uh-uh. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now, you hear? Bye, y'all. Love y'all.